All right, now we're back on the console. Uh, the last part you saw in this video, it was actually quite a while back. And so I'm just going to continue on with what we had planned here. And what was in the limbo here was these, these side pieces. This is the foam, I know it's dark. There, you see it a little better on this side. Uh, the kind of a raw exposed edge and I was kind of contemplating on what I need to do here. Uh, and I'm sure you can do, you know, about anything you want. You know, make some uh, vinyl pieces and fold them inward to where you just see the, like a, a flat seam here. But I thought, nah, it just seems kind of chintzy. So what I did was I took two pieces of poster board. I did one underneath and took a measurement and then uh, got the angles right first. So I took a piece, these are actually two separate pieces, taped them together where they lay here, pulled them out. And of course I marked around the edge where it would be and then I cut it out. So we have a template. So I made two plastic pieces out of the ABS. I'll show you those in a second. And uh, checked it on this side as well. We're pretty symmetrical. So we have the same thing over here. What's up? Sets up in there. And I decided we can either go with the plastic or we can actually wrap the pieces of plastic in this same vinyl and then make little uh, clips in it. We can either hide them in there or we can just run screws in the side. We'll see what we want to do. And uh, then you can just clip them up on there and it'll kind of accomplish holding, intersecting all of these edges together and hiding all of them. And I went ahead and glued some of these down so that they will uh, not interfere later. And uh, yeah, so we'll, I'll show you that here in a second and we're gonna take our 3M high strength 90 and we're gonna uh, attach the vinyl pieces to the ABS. And uh, we just cut those out and we left a little bit of leeway so they'll have enough to wrap around. So I'll show you those here in a second. Okay, so we won't do these here since this is the living room table. But here's our plastic pieces, the ABS. And I just put the textured side out just to kind of keep you on track to make sure one's opposite of the other. And we have our vinyl right here. And I know we have a notch there, but I was trying to conserve uh, as much as we could or use as much as we could in a scrap piece I had. So basically you lay this right in the center of it and we just left uh, about a quarter of an inch all the way around. And uh, we can move it up here so we'll have enough wrap here. We'll do our little relief cuts like we have on the door panels and on the dash pad. And we'll do all those. But first, we'll just worry about gluing this piece to this here. Same thing on that one. Here's the outer piece. And there's our plastic. So very, very symmetrical. So and just one's opposite of the other. All right, so we're on a different night working on the console. We have our pieces. We actually used the uh, the High Strength 90 3M product and glued them on the sides. And we just have these used, kind of working as clamps in a way. They have our tension pulled tight over here. And we even did it on the back side there. And it's doing a pretty good job. And I think that'll look really sharp. You know, you can see a little bit of glue in there and you see a little bit more on the sides but we may be able to, to remedy that um, by bringing it in as it is setting up with the glue. You know, it does that and we can maybe even kind of cut it loose there. But uh, see, it's still kind of wet, so you can kind of rub it now, remove it. But not too worried about that. That'll come off if we need it off later. And I'm thinking next stage of this, we do need to cover this side and that side over there this one is already covered and of course the cb radio the speaker exits out to the bottom here so it's kind of a canyon situation there and i think well we could use a uh, like a, a six and a half inch speaker grill or something and i thought well when we was doing the duster tear down the parts car i thought well we could cut this out finish it a little bit and then uh, figure out a good place to put it in under there, whether it be uh, long ways or, uh, you know, the, the width of the vehicle. Because uh, when you kind of look at it, it's a little hard to see, but you have the speaker grill in the van's dash. 
that it has the same style notch as there's a different pattern but it would be cool to salvage this because there's nothing really left of this dash it's it's so rotted down here it's cut up here uh it's actually tweaked a little bit and it's pretty rotted out around here so the dash frame for the duster is pretty much trash see it's even torn out here it's starting to rust through ain't out there it's just too much so we'll be resourceful and cut out something that we can make of good use there so I'm just gonna hack this area out and then we'll refine the shape of it as we figure out which uh, direction we wanna go for the console, okay? So again, it'll go under there and uh, we'll paint it uh, like the semi satin or like a low gloss black and make it look real nice and we'll even uh, drill some holes in it so that it'll screw up in there real good. So uh, that's the plan. And these are fitting up really good, I think. That was kind of my last resort idea, and I think it'll come out pretty good. We'll just, we'll touch up things like these corners here where the, uh, where the uh, edge comes together. So just stay tuned for that. Okay, so we have the console, overhead console, flipped over, showing its bottom part. Now, this area here and this area here is the foam, the foam padding that will go under the vinyl. This part's good here, and we're gonna put the speaker grill on it. We have it dipped in muriatic acid and getting all the old uh, heavy surface rust off though. We sanded it down a little bit and then dipped it in there and about an hour ago and it is almost ready to go. So be uh, cool to get into that here soon. But first we're gonna go put our vinyl pieces over here, over this. And what we're gonna do is do a little bit of a fold here, like a finished edge. Now this, this face of it wraps around here and I have it glued down against the pad on the, the bottom. Same thing over here. But everything's symmetrical. What I want to do is make a finish edge that comes back around and it looks nice and smooth, much like this does, where you have it wrapped up and over and in. And again, we'll clean this glue up. It's kind of bugging me right now, but we'll just have to worry about that later. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and we'll move our microphone out of the way so it doesn't get in the way and uh, glue all over it. I'm going to take a, a shield and put it over this part and we're going to shoot this area here and just this area alone, this front edge. And I'll show you what we're going to do. So keep an eye on that and I'll let you see it. Now I also got to be careful not to get on our new panel that we added in here, but we can come around here. Be very careful. 
nice and tight against there. And I'm gonna go ahead and aim down so it doesn't shoot in behind this up all over it. So if you do it this way, it should help you not make as much of a mess. Okay. Like that. Okay, now we're just gonna work on one side at a time. Because I don't do this very much, so I want to make sure I don't overwhelm myself with work here. So we'll let that set for a few minutes. And here's our piece, okay? Now we're not just going to stick it down like that. What this edge here is going to do, I'm going to be as even as we can to this side right here. And we're going to stick it down on there and we're going to let it tack up. And then when it's ready to tack, we'll take it, we'll fold it over. And then we'll have to glue this part and it'll seal down nice and tight. Now, like I said, I don't do it very often. So we're really just taking kind of a shot in the dark on it and hoping that it all comes out good. Now I'll go ahead and move our camera here so you can see what we're doing a little closer. I know this GoPro is a little challenging. It has like a kind of a, a fishbowl view. So we'll try to get it as uh, easy to comprehend as possible. Now what I think I want to do to make it not be as complicated. Let's see. This is our flat edge up here that we want to use on this. If I lay it up here, while this is still somewhat tacky, I'm just going to get a residual effect from it. So it'll stick like that. And then probably ideally pull it back loose. Okay. Now we have some on there. We'll see how it's going to stick. And just to be thorough, we'll take our cardboard again and we'll put another coat of this on here. Just like that. Since it's freshly wet this time, I'm gonna go back and I kind of made a mistake by taking so long the last time. Just touch it on there, like so, and then pull it up. Now we have some pretty good coverage on both sides. Um, so that edge that I stuck down, used it kind of as a, as a template, so to speak, and I laid the cardboard over it, and the, this was the area that I stuck down. Well, this mask it off from the finish side, so I sprayed a little glue on that, okay? Now, we'll just get this loaded back up here, and we'll give it a few minutes, and then we'll stick her down here, and we'll have it flapping here, and it should be ready to fold over, okay? Now, one thing you might be asking is the edge here where it would butt up against this. Um, I might actually pop that loose because it was actually a bit of an afterthought. So I could probably, see it's still fresh from earlier. And it's pretty flexible being the plastic. So I might be able to kind of bump it up in behind there and lay this back down over it. But we'll see how easy that is to do with the glue all in play, all that sort of thing. So. Okay, so let me tell you about aggravation is uh, when you do a 10 minute section of video and you gotta turn the video off when you're done and everything is not there because it didn't actually record. That's one of the little things I'm learning about these GoPros. You, I don't know, there's something strange about it. So I'll tell you what I did. I went ahead and glued this whole section on here. What I was doing, I had this one already on here and I was gonna tell you that, okay, I'm gonna duplicate the same thing over on this side. And so I took this, basically this edge right here, only over here. I glued just the edge of it. I put some cardboard up it and use it as a shield and make a straight edge and then glued this part right here, okay? 
Well, I also did the same thing on the actual piece before this was here and I shielded this part so it wouldn't get all over our gauges or anything like that. Well, I glued both those. I let them tack up for a few minutes and then I proceeded to lay this edge on here and then I glued this edge and then the actual console board. Okay. I let it set for about six or seven minutes. And I proceeded to take all this and fold it down and flatten it all out. And one thing that I was trying to show you in the video that didn't happen was you establish these two corners where they, where they meet. So your two corners come together like that, okay? Well, you just follow down through here. And I did it with my finger first. Made sure it was all true. And then we took a, this rubber roller and you can even do it at this point when it's still setting up and just press it down evenly and see we get a nice edge there i did the same thing over here and unfortunately i did not get our video and i apologize for that hopefully my explanation right there will help you if you are really interested in what we're doing uh, method wise now you see here we've cut this off we've left about an inch and a half to two inches all the way around well we can do the same thing here and uh you know eliminate some of this excess material make sure you give yourself enough to fold around because we will have to glue this back around like that okay now we can do a little bit of a relief cut about there and i will say so these were the two edges so about like that that'll be a good starting point so I apologize for that. I really feel bad because I was really proud of how we got this. I've never really done this before. So keep in mind, if you have any uh, mechanical inclination, then you can do this too. It just takes a matter of thinking about it first, a little bit of layout. And like I said, I use this cardboard. When I went to spray, before this piece of vinyl was on here, I wanted to get the foam that was underneath it glued up. So I just, we used our cardboard down through there sprayed downward away from the cardboard so that it wouldn't creep back through the, the little split and get all in here. So we was able to cover this edge and then laid this piece over here on the floor and then laid the cardboard down over it so we left ourselves about a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch, and I glued that. Pulled this up, let them set, and I carefully held one in here and one in here and line the two glue edges up together and you can kind of see it through here where it folded under so it basically goes around and goes in and that end part is what's glued down and then I folded all this back over pushed all the air bubbles out tried to be very careful before we stuck it and then we have a nice flat surface okay okay so Here's our speaker reel that we cut out earlier. And I had it dipped in muriatic acid for about an hour and a half total. Did a little sanding on it first to kind of cut into the surface and braze it a little bit. And this is the, the top side originally that was facing the windshield. So what I'm gonna do, just get it dried off. We neutralized it with our baking soda and water. Shook it around in a bucket really good want to dry it as quick as possible because it'll start flash rusting if you're not careful. So we'll just get it nice and dry. And then we will put some rust encapsulator on it to seal it. And then we'll figure out how to work it into our console. So there's that. Looks pretty good. A lot better than it did. Very crusty before. So this is all bare metal and with a little bit of paint on here. And, uh, I don't know, it might even cuts off fairly easy, so might just go over it with this real quick, and, uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so, another night doing the console. We've got the grill painted up, uh, Landau Black and Blow Luster Clear. SEM products. Um, here's the clear right here. 
they all come in the cans they look similar and then it's always there's a label on the cap and the, the low luster gives it kind of a uh, more of a natural almost a plastic or factory uh, prepped look so that's what I did on that one so it's not too bright not too dull kind of out there in between I've got some uh, black screws these are a little long but I, I went ahead and drilled through the wood with them and they're not too deep where they'll touch the CV they're actually far from it so I am squeezing these down and uh, I might actually go ahead and put screws in these side pieces I'm not really convinced that they will stay that good it might get a hot day they'll fall off um, there's just the point-to-point -point contact on them is a little iffy so I think I might uh, we will see though I will definitely get this one in uh, on the speaker and then I'm gonna do the mounts back up on it and we're gonna clean those up too if you saw my first video I just had a couple of you know hodgepodge bolts and a couple of nuts holding the ends to when you swing it up off that that hinge up to the top of the roof when it mounts to the sides it was just kind of a hodgepodge collection so I'm going to use more of a, a finish almost like a carriage bolt on the face to where we see it and we're going to paint them black and this is nice and snug here and then we will uh, try to fit it up that way and we're about ready to hang it and again there'll be maybe some modifications like some speaker uh, additions here and here and maybe even a switch panel up here on the driver's side but that's neither here nor there we'll just get the basics of it up and uh, as it would be with your project if you wanted something similar to this or different or to suit whatever needs you had then you would just do whatever you need to do so that's on there that looks pretty decent and uh yeah, so we'll work on these side mounts and I'll show you how we're gonna do the hardware in those. All right, so instead of doing these, I was gonna do these little uh, kind of flat ones, nondescript, but they have this very fine thread metric and I don't happen to have any nuts that would fit that. So I thought, well, we can improvise a little bit. And I looked around and we kind of went the opposite direction. I actually have some deep, socket uh style arp studs arp bolts and i thought well let's just be different put that on there and then they're fastened to the back here just a regular nut and washer did it on both sides and we put our uh, kind of homemade clamps like you say that's what it was it was a clamp originally and i just stretched it out flat it has the rubber coating on it like a plastic dip coating flattened it out and extended it so this is pretty much ready to hook back up into the van so we will set it up and uh illuminate the inside of the old van and see if we can stick it up there by ourselves so you know why not
Okay, so I took the clips on the ends and they was originally, the way I had them was that they went on this outside, the hole lined up and you ran the bolt through, that sort of thing. Probably do the, the material thickness here on the edges and so on and so forth. I left a lot of extra because I didn't know how it would fit. So this actually worked out pretty cool. It just kind of snugs up against the whole, con it conformed to it. So I just hooked the piece up over and behind. So I might work on these a little bit to where they can actually fasten to the back side of this. Um, and then maybe contingent on what kind of headliner I put in here. If it's in the way of that, then I'll probably want to put it back out here. But uh, I might have to fashion some new brackets that are a little longer so that it will stretch. I might use something a little more rigid. These are kind of a kind of wiry in a way. So um, right now it's, it's holding actually very firm. So we'll let it set on there and I might put a clamp up here just for the evening, you know, something just to keep it from slipping out in case I did do something wrong, which I was surprised there. So this is how it looks and I'll give you a, a walk through here in a second. It looks really cool. Uh, the aesthetic of it, especially when you're standing from the side. Um, if you're sitting in this passenger seat, you know, and I need to really adjust this thing because it's it's on the flat part, which means it kind of dumps you out forward. So I need to put a little bit of lean on it. Um, really, we could set it back a little bit. I'm in the way of our light. It's pretty cool here if you ever wanted to, you know, use this thing. It's right here. No biggie. And uh, you know, it kind of comes down, gives you a little bit of a, kind of a cozy feel. And on the driver's side, if we hop in here. We have a it's kind of a close proximity. More it looks more uh, distant in pictures, I will say that. And uh, I'm looking dead on at these gauges. They're not too much at an angle or anything like that. Again, if I want to use this, it's right here. Of course, maybe there's a hands-free situation going on right now. I don't know if that applies. I'm sure it does. But uh, again, kind of a cozy little situation right there. And uh, I might put a little double-sided tape to, to get a little more flatness on our speaker grill. Otherwise, I really like that. Um, if we put a sunroof in, which that's up still on the table, It'll probably come up to about right here, but we will see. This might even go up some more depending on how the ends are adjusted. We have a maybe half an inch or three quarters of an inch of play there. And I can't remember how it fit. It's been so long since I had it bare, just the wood box, but it may actually go up some more. We'll, uh, we might play with it tomorrow, but uh, this is kind of the gist of it. And I'll take you around like I said I would and show you up close. 